everyone. It's me. It's Larry. Uh, yeah. Um, I, uh, I snuck into uh, Rat's radio station, and uh, uh, and this, this is my own show. Yes, that's right, my own show. Uh, I'm here to let everyone know the truth and and expose the government for what it is with the Zika virus and what it's done with everything, the conspiracies and revealing the alien DNA. I, uh, I don't know how long I have, so you have to bear with me and I'll try to do what I can to make this an experience for everyone. Okay, so first and foremost, I'll back up a bit and explain my situation for everyone that doesn't know. Welcome to episode one of Larry Exposed. Okay, so about seven months ago, I escaped from a facility, a top secret facility underground in the desert, nearby Area 51, and they were conducting tests on me. They were injecting me with the Zika virus, which was designed and made through alien DNA. The aliens that they have abducted themselves that came here to visit and try to communicate with the human race. The government took the military position them and tricked these aliens and captured them. And it was horrible. They ran experiments on them. They dissected them. They probed them. They stuck things in any hole they could find. And it was absolutely disturbing. I saw this with my own two eyes. I heard things. I witnessed everything. And my God, it got worse. That's when they started to take alien DNA and started to implant it into fetuses. Young children and babies. It was horrible. The things that occurred, the changes, the mutations, it was disgusting. I ugh, just get sick thinking about it. Honestly, it was probably the most disturbing thing I've ever seen. A fetus with giant black eyes. Could you imagine what it would be like to be a fetus with giant black eyes like that and what you could see and not understand and comprehend. Oh, God, I'm sorry. It makes me dizzy thinking about it. Oh, God, I have to take a breather here. Oh. I'm going to, I'm going to take a phone call and, uh, yeah, I'm going to take a phone call. So I'll, uh, I'll be right back. All right, uh, well, we're, we're back, and uh, I, uh, I have no idea what to, to, to think about that. I keep hearing all these crazy sounds and voices. I don't know. I think that they're, I think they're on to me. I think they're... I think they're watching me. Uh, anyway, back to what we were talking about. Uh, yeah, so they were conducting experiments, and it got worse, and it got crazier. Uh, I saw 
other subjects. They were in cells next to me, taken and tortured. And my God, it was absolutely the worst thing I've ever seen. I mean, at one point, they took a man's genitals and they surgically implanted it onto the alien's genitals. And to me, that made no sense because what's the point? I mean, really, that was disturbing and confusing to say the least. I really didn't understand the point. I sat there in horror as I watched them put a penis onto the chest of an alien, a gray, as they called it. That was the code name for it, it was a gray. And they put this man's genitals onto the gray and I mean, it didn't work. It was just stuck there. It, it was it was disgusting. I remember at one point they had the gray get up and move around and this alien was screaming and, and running around flailing its arms with man's penis attached to its chest flapping everywhere. It was so scary and, and horrible. I mean, I was crying. I was I was horrified and, and confused. And it's an image you can't get out of your head. <laughs> oh God! Uh, so as time went on, more experiments were conducted. Some with women, which were very strange. They uh, attempted to have. The alien with the attached penis have sexual congress with woman subjects. And that wasn't working out. The penis wasn't erect. Nothing was happening. Just the woman screaming in horror. And let me tell you, after 40 minutes of that straight, I wanted to die. I just couldn't believe that this was happening. And, you know, anytime me and the other inmates would scream and holler for them to stop it just it didn't matter these so-called scientists and military people they just kept going they were sick and demented my god that poor woman they eventually put her in an incinerator she was thrown into there alive mind you so you're seeing and hearing this person being burned alive to a crisp. It's horrifying. It's absolutely horrifying. My God, that poor woman. And I mean, anyway, with me. So, they took me into a room. It was this strange room, not very well lit. They strapped me down. They put me on this table. And they injected me with a concoction of Zika virus and some other, some other drugs. I am not quite sure what else. But the effects have been absolutely unstable. Sometimes I have these strange outbreaks. It's, it's, it's very horrifying. Sometimes I can see things and hear things that no one else can. I was recently in Seattle trying to find Nick the Rat. And I was close. I did track down Kyle, who was a caller on his show. And Kyle eventually ran away, wasn't willing to talk to me. He wasn't willing to hear what I had to say. And I understand, because it's horrifying stuff. And nobody is willing to accept these facts. Listen, I know. If you're listening to this, it's not normal. It's very, very abnormal. It's very scary stuff. And it's very strange. And it started to change me. And it's very unstable. You know, sometimes 
I change. My physical appearance changes. And there's no control under it. It's horrifying. And some things happen. I, uh, I've done some things that were beyond my control and I can only live to regret this nightmare. I've taken out some people and I'm still on the run because of it. I've taken out agents, I've taken out guards, I've been shot and I've been able to heal from my wounds physically, not mentally. It's absolute torture. I don't know what else to do. I don't know where else to go. So with this show, I'm reaching out to you, the listener. If you want to call, if you want to talk to me, you want to message me, and we can try to fight this. We can try our damnedest to stand up to the government and its lies and get this secret out, expose them for everything they are, the evils that lurk inside the government. I'm asking for your help. Our time is limited. We just, we just elected an orange ape as president. And he's not going to do anything to help us. In fact, I'm pretty sure that he's going to stumble around and shit his pants. Because he has absolutely no knowledge or capability to run a country. So, he is a fluke. And he can go fuck himself forever. As a matter of fact, everybody in the government can go fuck themselves. Okay? They can fuck themselves with a knife. I hate them all. They're not willing to help us. They're only there to control us and deceive us. Their message is simple. It's only to control us. They run everything. The banks. Soon the internet. We have to fight this. Underground radio is all we have. So... And my time is very limited. And I should probably get going. I would keep talking. But I don't feel very well. Uh, So, listen. This is episode one of Larry Exposed. I'm exposing myself to you all. And I hope that who is ever listening to this can help. My time is very limited. Please get the word out as much as you can through Twitter, social media, for that time is limited to before they control it. God. Help us all. We're all in danger. This is Larry. Starting off. Help us all.
Dark Sword Network.